the url is iitbombayx.in iitbombayx.in we are about to guide you through the registration process how you register on this site how you go about looking at this site what is it that the site has in store for all of you okay so those of you who are already ready and those of you who are just about there can see it here on the screens it's all here you see this particular page what you see here is the registration page the cursor is at register now very clearly if you click on that you'll get to do your registration we're back to the register now tab please click on register now and you can then sign up into this site you click on that this is what you get okay please note that you need to use your the id that you have used on your nme ict site that is the id you need to use i repeat the id you have used on the nme ict site that is what you need to use here i hope that is clear that is what you use here for your email please put in your id the same one as the nme ict this is important name. because um if you use a different id here the grades that not not only you you and your teachers who overcome the grades that you get in online and the grades that you get in offline will not be matched okay it will be considered as two different users so unless you use the same email id in iit bombay x the same email id that you have used in nmict website and the same email id that you will be using in moodle website all the three have to be the same email ids in case you have by mistake uh, given a different email id please let us know we just need to delete that account and you create it afresh okay otherwise your grades will not be mapped you means i mean the same thing you need to convey to your uh, teachers as well the grades will not be mapped across the three uh, domains so we have your email id now your full name your public username whatever you wish to call it please note the email id is of complete relevance here your username full name can match your password so unlike in other places this website requires two unique things e email id has to be unique as well as the user id has to be unique okay now if you um if you write given email a uh, uh, user id which is already existing it will tell you okay but make sure you just pick up some uh, user id preferably with your initials okay if it is not there then you choose 1 2 3 and 4 but if preferably use something with your initials okay in the user id and uh, it will send you an email for confirmation if you can do the confirmation now you can do it if not it's okay you can just go ahead okay so there was a question there yes yes, yes i create a new password yes, for my yes. gmail account yes yes i don't use the existing one no that okay. will not work you are creating this afresh okay but with my same email id that's right only right. email id needs to be the same okay the okay. same email id that you have registered at nmict but there i didn't have a new did i i don't know <laughs> did okay. i create a new <laughs> please use a new password okay. at okay. this point and Got note it. it down somewhere yes, yes, so yes, you don't okay thank you password is your your setting I'm sorry i registered with the new email id okay yes you need to if it is different no, hold on hold on why are you don't use new email id it will be more announcement id no problem Ah, uh, just delete. Forget that. You create a new one. You create an email, the uh, email present, account present. only with the same email ID. Okay. That's very very important. You're creating a fresh account here, so the passwords you're creating are fresh. You're creating a password are fresh. That's not. You can keep the same password or different password. That's up to you. A new password, a fresh password. State. I hope you're all here on the same page. Password, state, city, and pin code. Once these details are in, 
they have to use their workshop coordinator email id okay there is a new doubt those of you who are workshop coordinators you need to use and remote center coordinators i'm sure there are some of you who are like that workshop and remote center coordinators please note you need to use your workshop coordinators email id here i hope that is clear do i need to repeat that those who are workshop coordinators as well as remote center coordinators here in this setup please use your workshop coordinator email id in this respect please there are four or five participants we've got to know please make sure you use your workshop coordinator email id here okay to move on we need to make sure that uh, the other things are optional okay what is really important after you have clicked on city and state is i agree to the terms of service and i agree to the honor code these are the two things that you need to tick on to finally create your own iit bombay x account all the other tabs somebody asked me if the reasons for registering with iit bombay x need to be written that is entirely optional it is not compulsory it is not a prerequisite it is not required okay you can skip that if you want to you can put it in if you want to the choice is entirely yours okay to move on to the honor code this is what the terms of service and honor code look like just one second so there is a question if there are some of you who have already registered for any other course in iit bombay x okay if you have already registered for another course before this if that email id is the same email id as the present one you don't have to do anything okay i repeat if that email id the old email id that you registered with previously is the same email id that you're going to use, use for this this particular technical communication workshop okay then you don't have to do anything after some time which is in the first week or second week of september you will automatically see this course appear in your page dashboard okay but if you are registered with a different email id previously and now you are using a different email id please use the current email id and register once more see more about the terms of service the honor code you have it all here to go back can we click on create my iit bombay x account please click please create your iit bombay x account all you need to do is click on it do we have something like this excellent okay now you all have your inboxes on your email account you need to go and activate this account you would have received emails in your inbox an email in your inbox please click on that in your inbox you would have received an email please check your email check your inbox for a mail received from iit bombay x dot in once you have clicked on create iit bombay x account you need to go to your email your whatever email you have used check your inbox you would have received an email the email that you have received will tell you that you need to click on something to activate your account yes have you clicked on activation yes once you click on activation you get activation complete that is the message you get if there is somebody who hasn't got it please let us know so that we can move on now your activation is complete please move on to find courses you can see that cursor there please click on find courses to know more about what courses you have you can register in at find courses now under under that activation completed tab right under the tab it says login right so we need to login from there or we can just get it from the okay his question is when you have activated it there is a small word below saying login yes you need to login and then get back to iit bombay x dot in please click on that login to come back to iit bombay x dot in 
when you have activated, when you get an activation complete message, there is a feature there to log in. Please log in again. While logging in, please use the same email ID that you have used, the same one which you've used on your NMEICT site, the same one with the password that you have freshly created. Okay, can we move on to find courses? You click on find courses, right at the bottom of the list, move on to next, keep clicking on next. We are trying to reach a course which is a demo course. While it comes back, let me talk to you about what we are about to do. We are talking about a course called a demo course. Now this, this demo course is something that all of you can look at and basically feel comfortable about moving around the IITBombayX.in site. It's basically uh, the ABC of IITBombayX.in. How do you navigate? How do you go about it? What do you learn? And what are the other courses like? That is what this demo course is all about. Okay, so that is what we would like all of you to register in at this point. We are going on to the IIT Bombay X demo course. You can see where the cursor is. Please click on that for those of you who have access. For those of you who don't, please have a look at the screens. Okay, IIT Bombay X, please click on this demo course now that you've logged in. And enroll or rather register for this course. Please note, signing up, yeah, somebody said we've already registered. If you have logged into this site, it does not mean that you're registered for a course. You need to again register for a course. Okay, so for that, click on it, register for the course. The minute you register, the course name will appear on your dashboard. Your dashboard is what you see on your screen. It says, it gives your name and it gives the IITBombayX.in site you get to see. Do you have this on your screen? Great. What about this side? Do you have this on your screen? This is your, if you have been registered, if you have registered yourself on the demo course, this is what you will see. This is called your dashboard or the course summary page, which gives you an overview of what course you are about to do. This is about the course, what this course is about, Please read through this, it's nothing very complicated. It's basically going to tell you what a demo course is all about. The demo course is a basic course which will tell you what other courses should look like. It includes about the course, it includes the course staff that has been responsible for this course. Okay, can we move on? Great. Now, once you have this, you need to go back to view courseware, which is... Okay, which means that your registration has not gone through, you need to re-register. Have you activated your... Can you all see this, please? Okay. Please click on view course. On your screens, you will have exactly this if you click on view course. To give you a brief about what this page is about, the cursor is on cu course info. Course info is basically all about the news, the announcements that the course staff want to give you. It is about, uh, suppose, Maybe they, you know, we are about to launch a course, what the course is about, who the teachers are, who the students could probably be, or an announcement, say, the quiz is expected next week, or the exam is expected next week. All these things happen in course info. As teachers, as students, this is a very important page for people to see. Okay, this is called the course info page. At this point, this page is all about what the demo course is. As you scroll down, you will see a video there. You will also see something, an introduction to what this course is about. This page can be modified as and when the course proceeds. It's basically meant for any announcement that the teacher wants to give to the students. It is meant as an announcement page. That is what course info is all about. 
we now move on to courseware the first tab courseware now courseware once you click on it gives you information about the contents of the course the course is split up into units called sections subsections where the teachers lectures are built in the form of sections and subsections now courseware gives you a break up of all those units it explains to you what you want to see it tells you lecture 1 or unit 1 according to the chronological order from 1 to 10 or whatever you can see that here you have lecture 1 which is introductory topics lecture 2 and so on is this what you are seeing experiencing course content please click on that to experiment come on you need to you need to uh, figure out how you can go about this you click on that it will give you a tour it will tell you how to navigate through a course it's a user friendly site you can click on the lecture numbers you can click on the units to figure out how and when this thing plays the demo course basically gives you an introduction to this entire site and tells you how to navigate through this course so you play on that video this is called a video lecture you play on that video lecture and you have hi and welcome to the iit now, bombay she, x demo now she is talking in slow motion okay so there is a function there where the cursor is which kind of um where you can modify your speed where you can control your speed you can make that person talk fast slow you also have the pause or the play button that is where the i am guide me and i'm here to help you and understand you how easy it and she's paused okay so these are functions which you can play with then you have the transcripts okay for people who cannot understand accents for people who cannot understand what the teacher is saying people who are hearing impaired who are not able to understand these transcripts are exactly for those okay so these transcripts believe me are extremely useful and they are very very time consuming exercise so these transcripts are extremely impo important for teachers as well as students and as you can you can record your videos and then get your transcripts done that is how it is done as the person uh, is conducting the video the transcripts get highlighted can you just show them when the person is to take iit bombay exports so let's get started let me show you how all the parts work together you can see that that If part is getting you highlighted you want to skip this video at any you. time and get a first hand experience of this demonstration course okay so you click anywhere on the transcript you click anywhere on the transcript please click there and the person will talk exactly there now these are functions that you can play around with have you clicked there the course wiki which is a very okay, so helpful resource it could be discontinuous but you can do that as base well. for your course now that you've seen the introductory note you can move on to homework 1 which is an assignment or an exercise homework 1 your exercise you can see it's your first grade please note this is something which is important for everyone to uh, understand these grades are what make your iit bombay x dot in grades so these need to be compulsorily attempted this is a demo course so it's all right but any other course it, these grades are the ones which make your final grade so each and every assignment or quiz needs to be attempted okay so this is for example one of them where you have very simple questions you also have bullets now suppose we were to mark say which of them is not a river say indian ocean and you can check you click on check it will give you what it is suppose you want to see the correct answer click on show answer which is the largest state the answer rajasthan is not correct with the explanation you get your answer so check is whether your answer is correct show answer is for the explanation of the answer along with the correct answer 
Okay? Now, this is called a quiz in IIT Bombay X dot in language or an assignment. And this happens with the discretion of the teacher. The teacher decides when and how to give these assignments or quizzes. And attempting these quizzes is a must for the final grade. Now, there are many ways the student can participate in this whole um, course. One of them is, of course, this, going through the video lectures, going through the assignments, going through the quizzes. Another very important feature in this site is the discussion forum. Now, now, students have a lot of doubts. Students feel that they need to interact with their teachers. When you have face-to-face -face communication, you know the student comes out and asks you doubts. What is it that you do here? Here you have something called the discussion forum. The discussion forum, can you see that tab please? Yes. Can you click on that tab? Once you click on that, this is what you get. The discussion forum is where the students can discuss problems, can discuss solutions, can put in questions to the teachers, can discuss things amongst themselves. This is exactly that particular forum where such discussions happen and it's a very important feature of this site. Very, very important where we encourage students and teachers to come in a collective discussion. Okay, so you can see that uh, there are many posts, many responses to those posts which are already there in this, dis in this demo course. You can read along if you so wish. Now, to Understand the student's progress in the particular course. Please click on progress. Please note that the progress tab or the progress page depends on how the student has performed in the quizzes. So like I said, I repeat, your attempting the quizzes or the students attempting the quizzes is a must to show a progress record. If the student has not attempted a quiz, there will be nothing which will show. And obviously, at the end of it, certification is a big question mark. Okay? So, this is what will show if the student attempts those quizzes. This is called the progress page. This, is, this will show you how the student has performed in homework 1, homework 2, and so on. An average and total. It's pretty reader friendly. It should not be too much of a problem. At the end of it, if you have completed the course successfully, successfully I mean if you have attempted all the quizzes, all the quizzes, if you could have got brilliant marks, you could have got bad marks, it does not matter. If you have attempted all the quizzes, you get your final grade. In this case, this person has got just 18%, okay, which was required for that certificate, so he has got it. This is what you will view. You will get this particular message on your dashboard. And in case your grades are ready, it's time for your certificate, it's time, yes, you need to go to your dashboard. Once your course is complete, you need to attempt your quizzes, ma'am. If you have attempted all your quizzes, you'll get this on your dashboard. She wants to know how to check your grades. How do we know? My answer is that you need to complete your quizzes, you need to complete your course in order to be able to check your grades. Please note that you need to complete your course. We are not talking of the demo course. The demo course does not have a certification. It is just a demo course. Okay? Any other course which you have registered in or will register in, you need to complete it in order to get a certificate. Okay. Once you have a grade, you can see that orange tab there which says download your certificate. On your dashboard, if you complete a course, not the demo course, any other course, if you complete it, you will get this saying that you have got this much grade, do, would you like to download your certificate? This is what you will get. Okay? You want to download your certificate, click on that download button. You may not get it at this point. This is just what we are demonstrating. You may not have this here simply because you have not attempted the quizzes. Okay? So download and this is a certificate, this is a mock certificate, this is a demo certificate, this is not the real one. Okay, so this is the certificate you get at the end. So I have been asked to say this again. You get a certificate only if you attempt all the quizzes. Please note, you need to attempt the quizzes in order to get this beautiful certificate. Okay, so please note. 
attempting quizzes is mandatory in order to get a certificate. Somebody wants to know if she can choose any course. What happens is the enrollment dates for those courses are closed. So you cannot be using that. So the only course which you can actually register for now is the demo course. The other dates are all closed. They are beyond your reach at this point. Yeah. yeah. You can no, no, no. So there are courses. There are two kinds of courses. One, anybody can join. Other kind of courses only by invitation. Okay. Now, all of you, for this technical communication course, will be automatically enrolled by invitation. Okay. All of you, including the people that you approve, th those are the teachers. You and those teachers, you are already approved in a sense. The teachers who come, and when you register them, get the payment, and once you approve them, we will take door, we they will ask them to log in to IIT Bombay X first. Okay, exactly the same process. Now we have asked you, you are all approved teachers. Okay, let's say you have paid money, okay, and you're all approved teachers now. We asked you to log in to the IIT Bombay X site and create a user ID with the same email address. Okay, then you can't do anything more than that now. After a week or two, we will look at the registered applicants, like you are all registered now. We will take your email ad address and enroll at the back end because you're all coming to this course by invitation. Now, for example, there is you have a colleague in your college who also wants to sit through this course. And that colleague is not a regular participant of the workshop. Okay? That colleague is not a regular participant of the workshop. He or she cannot view this course. This course, for the first time, it's going to be only by invitation. From January onwards, we will make it periodic and we'll decide the time depending on feedback we get from you. But at the moment, this course is only by invitation, which means that even you cannot enroll to this course whenever it comes up. Currently, our technical communication course has not come up. It's not yet come up. It will come up in a day or two. But even if it comes up, you can only see that there is a course called, like, like all the courses that you're seeing here. Yeah, so here you see there is there are some courses, like this computer programming, this says this is a T10 KT workshop. Now, just as you're doing technical communication, this is a invi invite only course for people of that workshop. Now, there are two computer programming courses. One is by invitation only. The second thing is anybody can join. But at the moment, for that course, the enrollment is closed. Okay? So, there are two kinds of courses one by invitation only, and for which you cannot do yourself. We will do at the back end. Okay? Now, a same similar procedure will happen once you approve the teachers who are coming to your college. Let's say you approve them in our NMICT website. After a week or so, those teachers will have to register themselves in this site and create a user ID. That is very, very important. User ID is not created automatically. They have to create user ID just as the way you did it now. After you cre they, have, they create a user ID, okay, we will enroll them at the back end. Okay? At, by that time, if there are other courses that are available, like this computer programming course, was available for anybody to join. Okay? If there are other courses, anybody is free to join. Any courses where any course where enroll now is there. Okay, you can enroll for that course without payment of anything. If you complete it, you will get a certificate. All that is there. But any course which says enrollment only by invitation, you cannot do it. We will do it at the back end, and you will once we will let you know, you will get an email. After which, when you log into your dashboard, you will see that course on your page. Is that clear? But one more. Uh, about the grading policy, 
the grading policy for this course, technical communication, is that there will be, say, 10 quizzes. I'm saying, for example, if there are 10 quizzes, in each of the quiz, you have to get 40%. Okay? It's not overall average 40%. It's each of the quiz 40%. And these are very trivial quizzes, like fill in the blanks, match the following, and you will have multiple number of attempts. The idea is not to uh, penalize you for uh, not knowing. It's because sometimes you make a trivial mistake, so you will get enough number of chances. So that's not the point. The point is that you should have gone through all the material. Not you, basically those teachers. When those teachers come back, you are already familiar with most of the material now, because you are here. Now those teachers who come in December should have gone through every single video. Which is why you should impress upon them that unless they clear those quizzes, each quiz with 40% marks, okay, they will not get a certificate. That's very important. It's very, tr quizzes are very tr trivial. It's not to test real. It's basically for them, for, uh, to engage them in the video. Okay, so um, please impress upon the teachers that they have to attempt every, everything. You'll have multiple number of attempts to clear. That's not an issue. But just attempt and clear it. And for clearing that, you need to have looked at the video. And then you know that when they come in December to your classes, they are reasonably prepared. NM EICT, second one is yesterday Moodle 2015. Correct. And today IIT Bombay X. Correct. So how I am going to interrelate this? You don't have to interrelate. All you need to do is ensure that you have a same email ID. Okay. Across the three courses, we'll take care of that. Okay. The same email ID. Password, you keep anything, I don't mind. Email ID has to be the same. Okay? We will, we will uh, make that interrelation. You don't have to worry. Say, suppose an assignment has been posted. Yes. Okay? It will be posted on, it, it, they may tell that, say, let, there's a video lecture here. Okay? Following the video lecture, there's a quiz. Can you show that one of them? So, for example, week six, there was a video. Following, in, following week six, there is a quiz. So this quiz is like short quizzes. Can you show the quiz? So these quizzes are fill in the blanks, match the following kind of quizzes. Along with that, you will be provided a link which will directly take you to the Moodle course where you have to submit a detailed assignment. Okay? So we will put up that link there. That will be like a question, but you will not have anything to answer there. It will be something, a text there, which if you click, it will go to the Moodle page where you have to log in again and then you submit it there okay so are we uh, are we expecting some assignments in the Moodle course uh, in the Moodle platform and some assignments are going to be given in the IIT Bombay X is that's that correct so I'll just repeat the question are there going to be assignments both in IIT Bombay X as well as Moodle's yes very much IIT Bombay X which you're seeing now are very, very short assignments like fill in the blanks, match the following, true or false. The Moodle assignments are detailed assignments. You have to work on it. You have to submit a, a small essay which will be peer evaluated. Okay? So the demonstration of peer evaluation that you saw yesterday is precisely for this purpose. There will be two assignments. One is online assignment, the second we call it as a home assignment, which you do at home and submit in Moodle. Okay, you, you do at home in the sense it's a longer assignment. It's not like instantaneous fill in the blanks. These instantaneous fill in the blanks are simply recollection of facts, whatever you heard last 10 minutes. But it doesn't go into applying those things. There's no application of knowledge that you gain. You just recollect facts. So this one is going to be application of basically writing something or you make a presentation file, PPT, okay? So, and you submit the PDF file and others will evaluate. So that will happen only in Moodle. I just want to add one more thing to your, you said you'll have three accounts. Yeah. You will have three Moodle, accounts, Moodle. that's correct. Moodle, NMICT and IIT Bombay X. 
in Moodle, you will have two courses. You as workshop coordinators will have two courses in Moodle, okay? Whereas all of the teachers will have only one course in Moodle, one course in IIT Bombay X, and their NMICT login, correct? So there are two courses here, coordinator workshop. In coordinator workshop, the only participants are this 120 people. In this course, which you saw yesterday, So this is what you saw yesterday, you had some uh, general information and peer review example. Now this course, Coordinators Workshop for ISTSTTP is only for you. The 5000 teachers will not come here, okay? This is a forum where we as instructors will share some material with you, okay? We might share some uh, tutorial problems and possible solutions which you can use for your December workshop. So this is like instructors, you are also instructors now, right? You are instructors for the December workshop and we are all having a forum to share. You can ask questions which everybody can see and we will ask post answers where everybody can see. We will post some material which everybody can use. This is only for instructors, right? We are all instructors. The second course is this, just the technical communication. This is coordinators, this is technical communication. Now here, at the moment there are none, but here all this 5000 people who are registered in um, IIT Bombay X will also come here, right? These are all these teachers including you. So this course will be used for submitting detailed assignments. Detail assignments in this course where peer evaluation will happen. This course is a forum for we to contact you and you to contact us as instructors, as co-instructors. Actually, almost uh, almost all the three things actually are there. Can you give give us a clear picture? I think all, almost all of them are here in Moodle, Mark and uh, these three, sure. three things actually. Please give us clear thing in type prepare matter so sure, that we sure, can sure. do it. This all will be because there. Because now the demonstration also, I think uh, many of them are not got the net. I know, I know. That's fine. Biggest problem is that we could not able to make it. Please do it properly actually. We won't expect. Yeah, yeah. We, we will have it written. I'm Just that since you are here. Okay, since you are here, we are just clarifying it in more detail. This will all be written and uh, with the detail. And also before going, leaving from here, we all should be clear about what is this exactly. Yeah. Because so much no, so uh, confusion. Please use the free time and any time to interrupt. Any time I'm here, you just interrupt me and ask. Okay? okay. We'll have some special sessions again in the last day yeah. where there'll be general forum. Because all of them should be clarified before going to yes, the yes, our yes, place. Very actually. Much. It's not so critical. You can go and ask also. Nothing is happening. Okay, sir. Thank you. So don't worry about it. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. It will all be written because the current course codes and the course and all are not ready. Which is why we are just giving you a feel of different things. You just take it as something which is going in your head. Everything will be clear, clearly written down and with a, a possible flow chart and what has to be done, all that will be there. Yes. The uh, question is, there are grades which are going to come in IIT Bombay X, there are grades get that is going to come in Moodle. Will they be integrated and put in IIT Bombay X? Uh, it, it will be used for deciding to give the certificate. Basically, the teachers okay, who come for the workshop need to get 40% uh, in Moodle as well as 40% in IIT Bombay X, okay? So, for completing the IIT Bombay X course, if you complete 40%, you will get that certificate only, but you will not get the ISTE certificate, correct? 
So for to get the IST certificate, we might we'll do this offline. We'll see that you have done 40% here, you've done 40% here, and then that will be decided for IST. That will not go back to IIT Bombay X. IIT Bombay X independently you have completed, you will get that certificate. Am I correct? NMICT model yeah. and IIT Bombay X. Correct. Three logins. NMICT is only used by workshop coordinators. No registrations done by the faculty who are coming from outside. No, no. See, they also have to register, no? Right. Done. One more question, sir. Right. We have to accept them. Correct. And reject them in Moodle or NMIC? NMICT. Right. Done. And uh, the Moodle is there now, sir. Uh, no, no, no. Moodle. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, please. Yeah, yeah. In the Moodle. Uh, we have to register them or you pay? We will do. Right. So, you, Done. you only approve or disapprove on NMICT website. They Automatically, they will come to Moodle. Yeah. Similarly, they have to log in to IIT Bombay X just as today you logged into IIT Bombay X and created an account. They also will have to register in IIT Bombay X. But the course, this course will automatically be enrolled for them because all of the 5000 teachers including you are by invitation. Okay, you will all be enrolled in IIT Bombay X automatically the, for the course. But you have to register just as you have done now. Yeah. In the Moodle, they need not to create the account. No. They will directly yes. have their username? Automatically. Automatically. Whatever username they give in NMICT website, that is the origin. From there, automatically you will the get a... The same password what they have created or the same password they can use no, in pa Moodle? That password you can give anything. Okay. But the initial password will come as an email. Okay, okay. You can log in and change it. I mean, you means the teachers can log in and change it. Okay. okay, okay. But the s they don't have to register in... Moodle. Moodle. They have to register in IIT Bombay X. Okay. Bombay. So, right. I know this is a lot of information. We will definitely provide a detailed document stepwise, okay, with a flow chart, okay. But please feel free to interrupt us anytime during this three, four days. It's uh, better to convey face to face and get it cleared, right? Sure. Yes, any other questions here? You want to go home? <laughs>